This is why narcissists manipulate you. All you will ever get from a narcissist is manipulation or an illusion. And the reason why is because they have nothing else to give. All they can do is influence and control you in a dishonest way. They can only behave in a way that is untrustworthy, deceitful and insincere. In a way that is intended to mislead you. That will cause you to have the wrong idea or impression. It's the only thing a narcissist can give to you. But really, they can't give you anything at all. Because the illusion isn't anything of meaningful significance or value. It's just an instance of a wrong or misinterpreted perception of a sensory experience. It's a deceptive appearance or impression. A false idea or belief. Where they are trying to make you believe that there is more than meets the eye. As though it's more complex, more important or more interesting than it seems at first. As though it's more difficult to understand. Or as though it involves more things than you thought at the beginning. When it's actually very simple. It's just manipulation. And that's all there is to it. That is the only thing that they can give to you. But they're not really giving you anything at all. You're choosing to go along with it. You're choosing to take the blue pill and enter the matrix. But you could also make a different choice. You could choose to recognize it for what it is. And if you do that, you will immediately see a different side of them. A side that is closer to who they actually are. Because narcissists actually have nothing to give to you or anyone else. By default, all they can do is take. Because they have no inner sense of value. They have a void that they are constantly trying to fill. And sometimes they're like positive supply, while other times they're like negative supply. Positive supply includes flattery, praise, adoration and attention, while negative supply includes fear and submission. But they're only going to try to get positive supply from someone who they deem to be a fool, someone who acts unwisely, someone who they can trick or deceive. They're not even going to try to get that from a powerful or intelligent person. And it's not because they don't want it, but it's because they know they can't pull the wool over your eyes. You have too much knowledge and experience. So they will settle for someone who is unknowing and unaware. Someone who is going to be more responsive and receptive. Because that's how they get supply. But if they know they're not going to get positive supply from you, they may often settle for negative supply, which they will obtain by devaluing you or discarding you, by triangulating you or starting a smear campaign against you, because that also feeds their ego and makes them feel powerful and important. It extracts power and energy from you, which they will harvest to attract their next source of supply. And sometimes you may begin to question yourself. You may assume that it has something to do with you. As though you're not attractive enough or you don't have much money. And while narcissists do often target the best of the best, you will also notice that they downgrade. They will choose someone who is far less attractive Someone who doesn't have their own car or home. As long as they're susceptible to the manipulation. As long as they know that they're going to stick around. Because they want a certain outcome and result. They want a person's full attention and focus. They want their validation. And they will be utterly ruthless and determined in their attempt to achieve that, regardless of how wealthy or attractive you may be. 
and they will manipulate people in order to get that without any consideration for the damage that they cause to people because they haven't got anything to lose all they care about is what they want and they will do whatever it takes to get it they don't share the same attitude or perspective they don't share the same point of view because they're all for themselves they're only pursuing their own interest they're not interested in anyone else's well-being but their own which is why they will often come across as unfriendly and unfavorable and lacking in decisiveness without strength or character they will seem aggressive, brutal, competitive, fierce and merciless because they're only concerned with serving themselves at other people's expense so they lack emotive response they have an inability to regulate their own emotions which may often show up as a fluctuation of mood mood swings or liable mood where they are experiencing emotional dysregulation because they need people's energy and emotions but they can only get that if you're willing to hand it over to them by being receptive to their manipulation and validating the illusion by allowing them to subject you to danger or harm or by forcing you into a place or situation from which there is no escape Narcissists feel entitled to lie to people but if you're not willing to accept their lies they're not going to want to be around you because they don't want to be challenged or confronted they don't want to be held accountable they feel entitled to lie because they have this false character which they use to manipulate people which they are also detached from which is how it's so easy for them to discard you because they can't even connect to you they have no interest in you or anyone else in their minds they are superior to you you're hanging on and you're following them you're just for recreational use you're for their own amusement and entertainment as long as you're willing to go along with their games or until they find something better But the more curiosity and concern you show for them, the more likely it is that they will keep you around. Even though they have no interest in you, they have no interest in anyone. They lack the ability to be interested in someone. And there is nothing you can do to excite their curiosity or attention because there's just nothing there they're only interested in themselves because in their minds they're greater than you they've got you all figured out they know all that they need to know so there's just nothing you can do to uplift or inspire them you may think that you're causing strong feelings or excitement in them but they're just pretending they're behaving in a way to make it appear as though it's real when in actuality it's not they feel nothing they're not connected or attached to you and in time you will see that because they will begin to treat you as though you're not significant or important as though you're worthless and beneath their consideration they will devalue and discard you they can only assign this illusion of significance to you and then in time you will realize that you are expendable and disposable you're able to be thrown away after use because they don't actually want you they don't even see you all they see is what you have and what you could bring to them but they will never tell you this they will hide it from you But if you listen to the things they say and you look back at their past relationships 
you will see that they don't believe anything was ever their fault. They don't believe that they've ever made a mistake. In their minds, it was always some other person's actions or behavior, even though they were the features shared by all of those people. And everyone says the same things about them. Everyone can see that they have no particular interest or sympathy. They're unconcerned. They show an attitude of patronizing superiority. They're arrogant and entitled. They're impolite and disrespectful. They habitually seek to harm and intimidate those who they perceive as vulnerable. They show a desire to want to dominate and control people. And you can confront them and try to explain this to them. But they will always shift the blame onto someone else. Because in their minds people are objects. They're just a means to an end. They're disposable. They're not something you should treat in a serious manner. You don't have to be sincere or genuine with them. You can deal with them in a way that lacks heart, spirit or interest. As though you're superior to them. Which is very easy for them to do because they lack empathy. They have no interest in bonding with people and spending time with them and getting to know who you actually are as a person because they have no interest in growth or development. But they will go along with it and they will hide it from you. But something won't feel right. You will feel empty and confused as a result of the lack of connection. And you may even fear confronting them because they're training you to be afraid of expected to be treated with due regard for your feelings, wishes and rights, with admiration for your abilities, qualities and achievements. Because they think you're just something they can get rid of. They see you as something temporary. They think you're not going anywhere. Which is why they feel entitled to say and do as they please. Without any consideration of the possible consequences. Without any accountability. Without considering how it might make you feel or how it might affect your children. They see that you're trying to connect. And you're wanting to get to know them. They will see that it's real and they will play along with it but they're not really serious about it. They don't mean what they say. It's not coming from their heart which is why in time you will begin to see the signs of their narcissism. You will recognize their negative traits. You will see that they're highly unpleasant and unenjoyable. They're unfriendly and bad-tempered. They're unpleasant and unattractive. They're arrogant and unforgiving. And they're just not something you want to be around. You may not see it in the beginning. But in time it will begin to surface because they don't mean anything they say. They're hypocrites. They put on a false appearance of virtue or religion. They may say that they have particular moral beliefs, but they will behave in a way that shows they are not sincere. While gaslighting you until you are too afraid to challenge or confront them, or to call to prove or justify something. There is always a double standard with narcissists. They will listen to everything you're saying, which may just be in response to what they're doing to you. And they will pretend like they care, while holding you accountable while twisting your words to persecute you, to harass and annoy you persistently and subject you to hostility and ill treatment. But they won't let you do that to them. They won't let you hold them accountable for their actions. And in the process of denying you of that right, they will target your self-esteem. They will make you feel less than who you actually are. They will make you feel like you're clumsy or awkward, as though you're generally ineffective when it's just the effects of what they're doing to you. And they will make you feel like you're losing your mind. 
They will bring up things from the past. They will remind you of times when you had defects or flaws. They will remind you of your failed relationships. Everything you've shared with them will be used against you. And they will gaslight you into believing that they are your saviour. Your God. Someone who can save you from danger, difficulty or harm. This hero. This brave person who is going to rescue you. While they're putting you down. While they're making you feel less than who you actually are. To deprive you of the ability to function normally and confront them on anything. They will lure you in. They will make you feel like they understand you. They will tell you what you want to hear. But they don't mean what they say. It's not genuine. Which is why in time they will gaslight you. And if you try to hold them accountable they will abuse and mistreat you. They will treat you cruelly and unfairly over a long period of time. They will punish you until you believe that it's just not worth confronting them and you will feel drained and lifeless just from being around them. Like you've just given up on truth and reality. You will become absent-minded, forgetful and inattentive. You will experience retardation as though it's delaying and slowing your psychological progress and development and you will just give in. You will accept whatever they throw at you. You will agree to do what they want. You will accept their opinion. And in the end, they will twist it around and use it to justify them further persecuting you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.